Hi y'all, we're Ron and Deborah Wolf of the Wolfpack at Remax in Morristown. And we're so glad you joined us today. Deborah, we're in West Morristown today. Yes, we are. At a beautiful home in Huntington. I love Huntington. Huntington. Great neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, a very, very friendly neighborhood. Yeah. A neighborhood where people get out and walk. Yeah. They know each other. Yeah. It, it's a good place to live. And kids play together down kids here. Kids play together. And I like to hear the sounds of lawnmowers and kids laughing. Well, you know, Deb, a lot of our clients have asked us, oh my goodness, when I get a contract on my house, how in the world do I negotiate that? Well, first of all, you need a good realtor like the Wolfpack. <laughs> yes, we enjoy negotiating. But what we want you to understand is just about every element is negotiable. Oh, yeah. Uh, we start out, and of course, the price yeah. is negotiable. Very important. Very important. <laughs> the amount of earnest money is negotiable. Yeah. The, uh, uh, the closing date. Uh -huh is negotiable. Yeah. Add a few more. Oh my, I add a few more. Yeah. All right, uh, possession can be negotiable. Yeah, just about everything is negotiable till you finally get that final signature where both parties are happy with the accepted product. But even with that, if a contingency has yeah. to do with the home inspection, right. that can be negotiable then when you have the inspection, yeah. if you have a few things that concern you you that the, the two parties the seller and buyer come together and they can negotiate how that will be handled right. however i will tell you if you get the property for an extremely low price the seller might say it is sold as is where is uh -huh. at that point there's really no negotiating nope. Nope. but even the appraisal when the appraisal comes in uh -huh. if it should be a little low mm. The buyer and seller can go back together yep. and negotiate the price That's again. Right. Right. Uh, we mentioned the uh, closing date. We do not encourage early occupancy no. for buyers. Right. There have been a few situations where that was a good workable solution. Uh, we also uh, occasionally we have a request where a seller wants to stay after closing. Typically, possession is taken by the buyer at the closing table when all the keys and rebooks are handed over. Because there are homeowner insurance issues at that moment in time. There are a lot of issues. On ownership. Yeah, liability, there are just a lot of issues. And sometimes a seller, especially if it's a very fast closing, sometimes the seller can't get out fast enough so that will become negotiable. Uh, frequently a price that the seller will pay the buyer after closing for the period of time will be negotiated between the two. So really what you need are a couple of good realtors like Deborah and myself. And uh, we appreciate you coming to us. And we're there for you during this whole real estate process. That's right. Occasionally you might ask us about a legal situation. Yeah. And if it's not something in our contract, we will tell you, talk to an attorney. Absolutely. And we have several good attorneys in, in our Absolutely. area that can answer your questions. But realtors are not lawyers, so we don't give legal <laughs> advice. Well, we are realtors though. Tell us about this house. I love at. this house. As Ron told you, we are in Huntington. This is a wonderful home where Primary living, about everything you need is on the main level, yeah. except there are bedrooms upstairs right. where the kids can run, uh -huh. and there, there's also a full, a full basement, yeah. and part of the basement has already been framed in. And a wonderful yard. And plumbed, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> uh, let me tell you about the main level. The main level has a great family room with a stone fireplace. Now this home is accented outside with beautiful stack stone. And then they brought it inside and the fireplace has the same. There are also two columns that move from the family room into this eat-in kitchen area. And it also uses the same stonework. And then there is this beautiful island with a natural stone and this stack stone around the base of it. Um, this kitchen has beautiful granite countertops, dark cabinets, all the appliances are staying. 
The house is, is like new. There is also a master bedroom with a wonderful, uh, large walk-in closet. There is also the laundry is just off the kitchen. There is a two-car garage on the main. There is a formal dining room on the main, in addition to an eat-in area next to where we're standing. Upstairs, three more bedrooms, a Jack and Jill bathroom. Uh, one side has a double vanity, the other side has a single vanity. They share the tub, shower, and the commode. Give Deb and I a, a call, and we'd love to show you this property. We sure Our number would. is at the bottom. And Deb, we've been lucky enough to sell another beautiful home, so let's get that sold sign up. Love this part. I want to sell this one. You call it. You'll like it if you come in and see it. <laughs>